Okay, so hi there, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Um, yeah, so we're looking into a new spread. <laughs> Sorry for the, the delay uploads for Pisces people. I almost forgot about you, to be honest. But uh, a better late than never, right? Um, anyways... We're looking into a new spread for the month of April and we're going to be taking a look on what's going on with you at the present moment, what's going to be happening soon, and the overall outcome of the month of April. And over here we do have a few um, theme cards, I call it, to give us information of what might be the theme or focus that might be coming up for the month of April, which might be discussed on the spread or may not but it's better to take them into consideration and we also have the twin flame notes as i call it and this will give us a glimpse on your own feelings or what the other person your partner or potential love um might be feeling towards you and it could be something that maybe you have to know or something that um they want you to know, you know, that kind of energy. So, um, yeah, uh, as you guys can see, we do have some difficult cards and we are going to be taking a look on what is the really the main message um, of this reading for a lot of Pisces people. Anyways, you're starting off with the Four of Cups and this is a very emotional um, set. You have the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Now, um, this is the situation that's going on with you at the present moment. Since um, we are already about, you know, mid-month of April because of the delay of my upload, I would assume that this could be something that has already occurred for you for, you know, probably within the month of April. It could be early, you know, during those times, or it could be also a recent past activity. So over here, we are being shown that there's an essence here of being lost, you know, there's a lot of confusion and maybe you are actually dealing with some form of loss in your life or, um, you know, since we have a breakup card over here um, as a theme card of the reading of April, it makes me feel that maybe you're dealing with a problem with a relationship and it doesn't always have to be romantic because maybe you're dealing with a family loss or any any kind of loss actually and you know uh, there's a lot of fog going on with you at this time and I kind of feel that this could be a situation wherein you're really not willing to communicate you know you want to be alone you want to isolate yourself and even though you do try to communicate with people you're not really um it's not easy for you to speak out everything that you want everything that you feel simply because you know you're really being very emotional during this time and for some of you guys you might even be quite negative especially if you know there's a lot of things that you're feeling but you're not really able to express them the right way so it can also be a situation wherein there's just a lot of negativity going on with you or um it could be just you know fears cropping up in you creeping up in you basically and maybe someone has disappointed you you're disappointed about something or this could just be an essence wherein you're feeling lost about a certain situation and it comes to love and relationships like i said earlier it doesn't have to be in a relationship but it can also be in a relationship setup wherein you're dealing with some form of confusion feeling lost about a certain lover or a certain relationship and maybe you don't know um what's going on with them you know because we have here the the four of cups and the five of cups it makes me feel as if um maybe there's no contact or you're thinking about them but uh, there's a lot of resistance there's a lot of confusion and you know a shakiness in terms of the emotional um connection that you're going through at this time and over here in the near future we do have the judgment card the ten of swords and the justice card 
now I kind of feel that you are eventually you know I I'm not saying that you your mood is going to be improving especially since we do have the ten of swords over here and I kind of feel that you are still feeling down there's still something that you're feeling melancholic about but at the same time I kind of feel that this is going to be a moment we're in you know at the middle of April something gets shifted and slowly bit by bit you know you are going to see a clearer picture of certain things and this could also be the time wherein you might be um coming to a realization that you need to face certain things in into the situation that you're dealing with right now you know whether it is a relationship whether you're dealing with a loss you come to this kind of thought wherein you know you cannot do nothing anymore you have to do something you know there is something that needs to be done even though you maybe don't want to do them you know maybe your ego is talking to you maybe you know um some form of stubbornness or resistance type of energy needs to be sorted out i feel um so uh yeah that is really what we're seeing over here and if you guys notice we have here the anger and agitations and frustration so maybe there's really something that you don't want to do or there is something that you know something that you really hate doing or you're not happy with the situation but you have to do them anyway because you know uh, there could be some form of obstacles and delays you know and i kind of feel this is about you dealing whether should you just focus on your disappointments in life should you focus on the loss or feeling feeling down or should you stand up and do something about it when we when we have the justice card and the judgment all together this is really more of a situation we're in as if some form of ultimatum or some form of eureka moment comes into your mind but we do have here the ten of swords it makes me feel that you know it's it's that moment in your life we're in maybe you know what is the right decision to make you know what is the right thing to do but at the same time it doesn't mean that it's something that you want to do so maybe there's something that you are unwilling to do but you know you have to do them and <laughs> this could be in the month where any you are going to be sorting out those kinds of feelings and those kinds of energies i do know though that you are going to make the change you are going to initiate things and make things happen um because they are necessary and of course um this can happen in different ways okay so i would say that you know if this is something really important to you this could be a situation where and you are going to break through things you are going to do what is the right thing to do you know what is it that you don't want to do i kind of feel that you are going to do them so uh, every Pisces people are going to encounter different kinds of situations and different kinds of, you know, um, answers into this. So I will just leave it at that. And my advice is to follow your own intuition, you know. It will be you who knows your own situation. And these are just, you know, guided readings and energies that I am picking up. So how this is going to personally work out for you is going to be different for each and every Pisces people. So um, this could be a situation wherein maybe you need to really separate yourself from someone. And if that is what it what is supposed to happen, if that is what you need to do, I kind of feel that you might just go ahead and do them. At the same time, if you have been resisting someone, um, this could be a, also a time wherein you know you are trying to um resist the temptation in talking to them or you know trying not to not to be with them again again anymore you know uh this could be a moment wherein i kind of feel that you are going to give in <laughs> to what it is that you feel you know and maybe maybe you think that 
the right thing to do is to be with them again, even though your ego and your uh, your own self is not going to allow you to to do the move in communicating with someone and getting back with them. So um, again, it really differs. What is it that you don't want to do, but you know you you should do for the betterment of the situation it will rely on that um, part of your life and situation so in the near future we do have here the four of wands the wheel of fortune and the tower card now this is what i'm talking about earlier so you are going to be taking action in this could be a very fated event as well and regardless of what decision you come across with i believe that it is something that you believe has to happen for the good of everyone involved. Okay. So, um, yeah, there is really a heavy emphasis here that you need to end something. And whether that is a relationship, whether that is a, a, a negative uh habit or pattern in a situation it is something that needs to be broken tear down and ended so that you know a, a better flow of connection and relationship can come about you know maybe the relationship has been going on in circles and there's no progression or you know you might be doing something that's really not helpful in your situation and it's like a very fruitless venture and you are now at that point of your life where in you, you come to this decision that I need to do something drastic or else nothing is going to happen. So you are just going to be coming to a point where in you need to make that decision to overcome any form of obstacles and adversities that you are um, encountering during this time and really funny thing here is we have here the twin flame notes that i want to let go and i need to be alone i am filled with regrets this is really more a, a classic situation wherein maybe someone wants to break up with you or maybe they have already broken up with you and you know even though that maybe they still have feelings for you since we have here that i keep thinking of you card and you know maybe they want to isolate themselves from you or maybe they have already done so but you are still in their mind and they're still thinking about you and maybe they still have some feelings for you or they just cannot forget you for whatever reasons and maybe they have they are regretting the fact that they have left you and now they are struggling with that with that karma or they're struggling with what they need to do to have you back and now their life is a mess you know there's just some things in their life that is a mess because of what they have done before or what they were undergoing oh regardless of how that has come to be for your situation so i kind of feel that this is really more of a of a, a reading wherein it can actually turn in different ways wherein it could be a relationship that needs to end maybe because for a different reason or um maybe something is not good about that relationship anymore and it's time to end things or this could also be a situation wherein maybe you have done something in the past or there there was a history of something in your relationship with someone or a situation with someone but um you feel that it's not working out anymore and maybe you feel that it's time to end things you know and uh, sometimes the relationship just needs to end not because you don't love one another anymore but some form of faith is just calling you guys to to break things off of course i'm not gonna say that that's for everyone i'm just saying that that's a possibility that um even though it's hard to accept it, it really happens in real life so <laughs> So um, there could be some issues that we are going through, especially if, you know, uh, you are at the point of your life where in you're willing to do everything for that person, but that person is probably having their own 
soul journey they're having their own issues in life that prevents them in being with you and it could be a time wherein you know you guys might need to have that realization that this relationship needs to have a pause and we just need to hope and pray that um eventually uh, the two of you can still be together you know i mean i really believe that i really believe in that saying to be honest you know it might be a very romantic kind of idea but i do believe that what is meant for you will never pass you by and even though you break up with them people who are meant to be together will always find back to each other you know in their life it, at the very least, that is what I believe. That's my moon in Pisces speaking, by the way. But anyways, um, yeah, we are seeing here that this could be a very emotional month for you. I don't know what end of the stick you guys are truly in this time, but I do know that some form of breakthrough from this emotional roller coaster ride is going to be happening um, personally for each and every one of you. Now, let us see what we have over here. We have here the Sudden Wealth card. That's a really good signal. The pathway and the gift. And this is really where uh, the basis of why I'm thinking that there could be, you know, a gift. Uh, not really a gift, but really more of a, a good situation that can come about in this situation. Because it, when whenever we see the pathway, this is really more of a point where in um, some, some form of decision needs to happen. You know, we are at the point where in we need to make a breakthrough. There's something that there's a path that we really, really need to take so that, you know, some form of answers can be revealed, situations can happen. And with this sudden wealth card, I kind of feel that th there could be a certain situation or happening in the month of April that gives us some form of offer. You know, an opportunity can come up and, you know, it's all about whether you are going to grab that opportunity, where, whether you are going to use that opportunity to lead you to the other side of the road, wherein there's going to be a lot of opportunities and a lot of possibilities can come into the place because we do have the gift card and it's always a wonderful card to have because it's something that can lead us to some form of happy surprise or um it's like finding treasures you know it's, if you imagine and treasure hunters always risk their lives with certain things and encounters troubles and then finally getting a lucky break into things and you know whenever they open a treasure it's always a celebration regardless of how of how in injured or ragged the, the adventure came to be so this is really what i am seeing over here you know you might be having a lot of emotional roller coasters right now pisces but um i feel that you should not be stuck in that zone and you need to be aware and to realize that you need to take the path you know there's going to be an opportunity to act and i would say that this is not the time for you to be passive and stagnant and just wallow on those emotions even though you don't want to take the action to change something i do believe that you need to do something you know um after all <laughs> All of these riches, gifts, and and things that is around you, maybe. They are going to be just around you <laughs> if you just sit still. You know, the only time you will be able to attain them is when you stand up, walk, and grab hold of them. <laughs> so imagine that analogy, Pisces. So you do need to change something and it could be something drastic. It could be something that can, you know, create surprises. And it might be a happy surprise. Definitely, it is a change that you really, really need right now. And I'm really excited. How is this going to be panning out for you? <laughs> as we enter the next month as well so um anyways thank you guys pisces for um watching this video and even though it's late um for listening with me here um i invite you guys to join my facebook group i do have um 
readings and connections with community there where we talk about astrology and stuff like that so all of the information will be down below the description of this video and um also if you do want to get a reading with me specifically done for you and your own situation you can also do that uh, by going to my website in the stars by crazy.com and i do have several um reading offers on that and you can simply check them out and we can work on a, a prediction for your situation and if you need advice um so that you will be more aware to where things are going to be leading on for you for the month of april and maybe beyond that anyways thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me <laughs> and again i do sorry for the delay on the pisces reading for april um yeah i'll see you guys again next month goodbye